Okay, recently, a little gaming event, I played Clash of Cultures for the first time. The brother-in-law has gone out and bought it uh, on the strength of my reports of Clash of Cultures. Clash of Cultures is an amazing game. Uh, produced by Z-Man Games to the highest quality. Um, and it's been by Christian Markerson. And the also sought after uh, expansion that's quite hard to get hold of at the moment, uh, Civilizations. So here we go, we're going to do a very, very quick unboxing of Class of Cultures along with its expansion, uh, Civilizations. It is a brilliant, brilliant civiliz civilization game. And also to complete the little package here, we have the Geek Store promo, the Aztecs. I think it, isn't it the Aztecs? Uh, yeah. So first of all, let's dive into this little promo, the Aztecs. Now we played with the leaders when I played and they are, I couldn't imagine, really, to be honest, playing the game without them. Because they are pretty unique uh, and a nice addition to the game. So, yes, it is the Aztecs. So these squares come out. There you go. And as you attain these, these abilities, this goes next to your player board if you were the Aztecs. Uh, and you put your cubes in. And here's the nice card. So you've got three Aztec leaders there. One, one, one ends up brown bread, you'll have to pick the next one. So there we go. So that's a nice little promo, the Aztec leaders to go with the expansion. Let's get into the base game, come on, let's do this. So, right, cell phone's nearly off, so let's go in here. I say fantastic quality on this. It's been unboxed before, so this is just for my channel, for my YouTube channel, let's have a look. So in, we've got a little, uh, little leaflet there showing Z-Man games. Um, we've got the rule book here. Nice glossy rule book here. Fabulous game this. I think we're going to play this over Christmas. Nice easy game to play but with a lot, a lot of depth to it and lots of fun. I absolutely love Civilization games and it's done really well. got player sheets in it in each colour there. Right here's the player boards. All these little squares just like on the promo, the Aztec one. Uh, all these little squares come out for the cubes to go into. And one in each player colour. turn track here. We've got the wonders here. I actually built the, uh, the Great Wall of China. Now people have done there's some fantastic um, uh, 3D printer miniatures that people have put, you can get from, is it Shapeways for these wonders, for the seven wonders, which is awesome. Um, there you go, so it's a sheet. Now we're going to, into the map boards here. <coughs> Excellent quality. <coughs> Excuse me. And now look, still a ton of stuff in this box. So I played yellow, so let's just have a look at the yellow. Everything's duplicated in the other colours. So let's have a, just have a quick look into these bags. And the quality is pretty good, isn't it? Does what it needs to. If we get them out, we'll just go through one set. I say the, the all the, the different colours have got the same things. I can't remember what everything is, but it makes sense when you're playing it, and it's easy enough to. I lined them all up nice and neat. And there's your ships here. Pretty good. The sails kept cut falling off the ones we had, but these this must be a new printing because I think these are moulded in. The sails went in on pegs on the copy we had and we kept falling out. On the copy I played I should say. There's 
to lead a guy, isn't it, I think? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> we got a little settlement there. Got the armies coming up now. They're pretty smart, aren't they? I say no need really. I mean, some people, I guess, have painted these, but I quite like them in the quite striking in the just full colour. <coughs> full separate colours. So there we go, that's one set. That's the yellow players. If you look in here, look, you've got your red, your green and your blue. And oh and also the barbarians aren't they? The black ones. The brownie black are they? Yeah. Shitty brown, to be honest. They're the barbarians as well. Come in, we've got dice. Uh, decent quality dice because they're a good finish on them, a good weight, really well printed out pips, and they're nice square edged, which are more, more normally more expensive dice. So good quality. We've got all the, the player cubes there, nice plastic cubes. They fit in lovely, perfectly into the into the player boards as you um, upgrade your civilization. And now we've got a couple of decks of cards, so let's quickly get into this, and that's the base game done. Pretty decent card stock, smooth finish. It's all writing, really, isn't it? So we'll just quickly f go through. I say there was not, not not a lot we had to check up on in the game. It was all pretty self-explanatory. It is an excellent, excellent game. Let's get into this uh, second deck of cards here. I actually came second, um, but I was close to getting wiped out. Play had a fantastic session of this. And that's as the wonders. I built the Great Wall, very satisfying. Because you build a wonder, you do not want it being getting taken by anybody else. There we go. That is the base game, Clash of Cultures. Right, no messing about. Straight onto the expansion, uh, Clash of Cultures, uh, the Civilizations expansion. So let's dive into this. I say I have no idea of the playing the vanilla game. My my the game I played it was straight on with this uh, with this expansion, and I loved having the leaders in here. So and also it gave it gives you more upgrades and stuff. There's quite a lot in that box. Excellent, excellent stuff. So loads of plastic card decks, pirates. We've got stickers there. We've got the book here, telling us about the extra stuff. You've got the guys on elephants here. You've got 20 elephants, 20 cavalry, 4 ships, obelisks, apothecaries, uh, markets, and the leaders. There's a ton of stuff in this expansion, and it integrates per uh, per perfectly into, into the game. So let's have a look. Yeah, so you've got... Um, you got Greece, Rome, Japan, Carthage, the the leaders for them, Maya, Egypt, China, and Vikings, uh, Phoenic, Phoenicia, Celts, uh, India, and Persia, the Huns, and the Bab Babylonia. I was the Babylonia in 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 the game I played, and did quite well with them, like I say. And and of course now we've got the Aztecs as the promo. Some more land tiles here. Done a spell on there. Okay. Uh, two decks of cards. Two small decks of cards. Let's have a look. I say, what an expansion box. It's only a small box, isn't it? Really nicely done. 
uh, by Z-Man Games, excellent quality. So we've got uh, our leaders here, just like we have the leaders cards for the Aztecs, we've got three of each. Loads of great cards to add to the game here. Militia. Look at the card backs. More events there, they were. Objectives. Oh, the objectives, yeah, they're really good. Leader cards. Right. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I, I did like that. I remember that. Uh, hidden objectives to. To actually work towards for points. These are all leaders, are they? Yeah. It's got to be like one of the best first box expansions. It's just got everything you could possibly want is in this expansion to expand that base game. It's already a great game, but um, I say it played fantastic with the expansion. And look at all this. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not being rude, but if this was FFG, this would have been spread over three or four expansions, wouldn't it? Right. Um, got these guys on the elephants. Uh, not on the elephants, sorry, on the horses, these ones. Lovely detail there. So we're on horses on the player colours. These ones on the elephants, awesome. And these are to your defence if I remember rightly. In attack. Something like that. Great stuff. That's the elephants dealt with. Um I've got little these little things here. Different shaped settlements. Yeah, they all become very familiar pretty quickly. None of us had any problems uh, seeing what was what. Oh, that was right, and here's your translucent leader. These are lovely, these. So different to the other leaders in the base game. Really nice quality. Nice touch that. The bar is it, I think these are these the barbarians stuff. Certainly in the brown. <coughs> Excuse me. It's barbarian or pirates. Or it's a, it's a, do you know it's a few months since played, but we've played a lot of games since then. Ah, yeah, and I'm sure I think it's Barbarian, isn't it? Or Pirate, you call them. Barbarian or Pirate. And there's their ships as well. Got their own ships now. I mean, just an incredible amount of stuff in the expansion. More cubes. And we've got this bag here. If I is it more obelisks, sort of things. There we go. Is that it? If we covered the lot. So, I mean, really, look, there's the expansion. We unboxed um, Power Grid expansion today. It was just full of thin air. This box is absolutely cram jammo, full of stuff. All that you see here in this little box expansion for Clash of Cultures. Hard to get hold of, but you can still get hold of it. And if you persevere, you will get hold of it. And definitely, definitely worth it. So that is the full Monty hit. Clash of Cultures base game. Clash of Cultures the Civilization, Civilizations expansion. And the Aztec promo. That's the lot. Thanks for watching.